there's Steve out there fixing the fence. It's uh, nine, it's 20 to 10 Saturday night. There's a sleeping bear. the paws, mommy. Don't touch the paws. Okay. There's Lenny. Hi, Len. Lenny has had all of his injections now for his heartworm treatment. They're, um, they had to be these intramuscular injections. So you have three in total. Two, the last two were back to back. So one, one day and the other the next day in the leg. So he was pretty sore for a few days. He's a tough dog though. Hello everyone, welcome back. Fake glasses or not? Sometimes when I put them on, I feel like I look smart and I have this fulfillment of my childhood dream of always wanting glasses. I used to lie all the time when I was little and say I couldn't see because I wanted glasses so badly. I also used to desperately want to break my arm so I could have a cast or break my leg so that I could use crutches. Strange, but both true stories. Last week's video, I left off at the sawmill. I milled a bunch of pine, like wall boards, and I milled some birch for flooring. Today's video is a bit of a mishmash, and that is why I'm sitting down to talk to you, is because I'm gonna be the glue that holds it all together and, and makes it make sense. So this video is more or less a video of transportation. So taking materials, We've got roofing material, all the lumber I milled, and the ore car hot tub project, taking that all from the home location here out to our off-grid property. This was a Sunday, and we were only out there for the day to get this done. So as the title indicates, yes, there was a bit of a disaster or an event, a situation, with the zip line and it did result in some tears on my part on my behalf but before i get into that i want to explain the roofing material situation a little bit because so that it makes sense as i have mentioned before my plan was to use the reclaimed standing seam material from our house as the roofing for the cabin i realized that i wouldn't have enough to complete both sides of it and over the last two months, Steve and I have been working on building something else. And so a, a bunch of extra roofing material from that fell onto my lap. I think they actually sent us extra by mistake. So I thought that would be perfect. I would do one side of the roof in standing seam and one side of the roof painted black in the other material. I would do it in such a way that you wouldn't notice the difference in materials because the standing seam side would be the side that as you're coming down the mountain coming and approaching the cabin you'll see the shed roof which is standing seam and you'll see that one side of the cabin which is standing seam you won't see the other side of the roof the only way you see that side of the roof is coming up the trail from down below and there's no other roof to reference from that so it to the eye like you won't notice too much of a difference except I do have to add a little piece of standing seam to the painted stuff because it's, I need to make up 13 feet and I have to piece it together a little bit, but I'll make it work. The stuff I need to paint wouldn't be ready in time for this particular day for me to take out there because I've slowly had to pick away at it in my evenings, painting it and getting it set but I could get the standing seam stuff out there. So just before we go out, I think the day before I spent sorting through that pile, 
and cutting it all to length and getting that ready to take out. Nice to have a pulley system here, but don't have one. Uh, I have to stand on this end because it's yeah. But it's I'm tipping. gonna when I go. Can you hold that? Can you hold this one up? Here, I gotta put a better stick in there. Alrighty. This is heavy. I know. Well, we'll just do it slow, like the. Can you hang on to this now? So, okay. I'm trying to think of the best way to explain this as quickly as I can about what happened with the Sky Mule. And when we put the sliding glass door down, Steve wasn't up where I was, Steve was down below waiting to receive the door. He thought that the Sky Mule itself was the only thing controlling the speed of that heavy, heavy door going down the mountain. But I was in fact up holding the garden hose contraption, the wheels, because I know myself, having transported so much materials out there, that heavy loads need to have control with that line, with that system, as well as the Sky Mule. The Sky Mule is great. Um, it does definitely break the materials going down, but really heavy loads, it can't do it on its own. So unfortunately, Steve thought that we could send this load of lumber that we had got piled up there. He thought it could go down on its own, unassisted or, you know, without any assistance from the garden wheel contraption, even though I assured him it needed to be slowed down. And so we're letting it go. Oh my God. Ah! Ah! Lo and behold, the lumber went flying down. The garden wheel contraption, the velocity picked up and got out of control. And at some point here, I actually end up stopping the recording. I don't remember how, if I did it on purpose or if I did it by accident as I was trying to run out of the way. And I see Steve jumping out of the way because sparks were flying off that thing and the whole thing broke off, 
flew off, the wheels flew off and went down the mountain, and as did my lumber, fly down the mountain and smash at the bottom. And a lot of it got damaged, which resulted in me being very upset and a bit tearful because we didn't just go to the lumber store and pick that up on the way out there. That was a lot of time and effort to make all of that wood. And I just really felt frustrated that Steve did that to me <laughs> because now I need to mill more. A fair amount of wood got wrecked and we couldn't load any more down that day. Steve tried one more load and it was just dangerous and a little bit more got wrecked in that process. So it was on to just taking the ore car hot tub down. It was starting to get dark, but before that I even, I had to go get Clyde. Hi, bud. Hi. Hi. We gotta go. It is, we're out in the middle of nowhere. Go figure. Thank God for these GPSs, man. You know, that's the one thing with taking all the dogs out there. If we're both out there, then the dogs have to come and of course, Clyde had his collar on, but I had to go get him. And then we set out to deliver the hot tub down below at the main cabin. We have the mini excavator there, so that's the only thing we had to use to get the ore car hot tub out of the truck. It was a bit much for it, but Steve managed to, to make it work. We also wanted to load up the ATV 
and bring that home because we use that in the winter time. We were going to put the snow tracks on it and we use that to groom our cross country ski trail. And that's basically it. That's pretty much it for the video. Uh, where that leaves things is Steve needs to figure out a way to fix the Sky Mule, which God love him. He was excited about that because he didn't really like how it was set up. He knew that it had flaws and I knew it had flaws and it definitely could be made better. So this felt like his opportunity to make the Sky Mule better. So we will see in the next video what Steve came up with to make that system work better. And then I'm back to the sawmill. I'm back to making more wood and we're in for more transportation of that wood. Um, it's snowing, I get stuck. And so I will see you all next week for that video. Thank you for watching. See you next week. Bye.